Yes, 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 yes. Ah, uh, fangirls, how are you? <laughs> Ahmed was right. There are ladies you see and you know that you can't just try it. It's like, it's like Tanzania, when you just put your head outside your house, 50,000. <laughs> Does it happen to you? Once you step out of your house, you pass her. You must get debit a lot. So there's some girls who just say hi. Ding, ding. Uh, and it was so many uh, uh, Where did you come from? I just got back from Nigeria, ladies and gentlemen. Actually, I've been in Tanzania for the past three and a half years, and I went to Nigeria for the first time last two weeks. Yeah. So it was quite emotional. I didn't tell any of my siblings I was coming. I surprised them. Not for the, just the shock, but I wanted to be safe. <laughs> for my own good. Because Nigeria right now is gangster because I had to prep myself mentally. I told people, man, I pray I survive. Because all of a sudden I, I, I realized that I've become like a Tanzanian and calm. <laughs> I had to increase my volume when I landed at the airport. Ah, what's going I'm telling you, let me even start from the airport. I was leaving Tanzania, I had my documents, everything. You get to the Tanzanian airport, ah, can I get a COVID certificate? Have you checked it online? Okay, nice. Okay, Savari Jema. Thank you, thank you. I landed Kigali. Can I see your queen? Ah, nice. Thank you, thank you. As I landed Nigeria, as they opened the door, this is how I came out of me. <laughs> Yours truly, first office I saw. Ah, anything for the boys. Came first. Came first. Let me tell you, people, when you die, when you get to heaven, just pray that it's not a Nigerian angel by that time. Because he asks you anything for the boys. They must collect something from your hand. Actually, they want. You can't pass. They will hold your bag like this, literally. So I landed up with you and surprised my sisters. Then I started driving home. That was the second part of the journey that was hectic already in my head. Because you have to drive for four hours. Bad roads, kidnappers, Boko Haram, to headsmen, and robbers. Only one country. If you know how peaceful Tanzania is, I can sleep with my door open, try it in Nigeria. <laughs> the only guy in Nigeria, he was already by, he was already sleeping in his house. Because right now, even in Nigeria, even in your house, you're not safe. So he heard people breaking into his house. It's not like your Tanzanian thieves that will just steal something outside the house and run. <laughs> Nigeria, they will knock and say, how are you? <laughs> they paid salary yesterday, we are here today. <laughs> He knew they were already inside and they just, it, it was just his door left. Nigga didn't know what to do, there was nowhere to hide. He went back on the bed and pretended to be sleeping. Just let me sleep, let them do what they have to do, they are in already. Nigga was sleeping, sleeping, he pretended to be sleeping. They stole everything, his shoes, his DVD, his TV. They finished. Then one of them was like, cross for the corner. I said, no, 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 no. See this mattress. You know how much mattress be? So the other one said, boy, he's sleeping on it now. Then he said, we will kill him. As he said, we will kill him, don't kill him. He just rolled out the bed and fell on the ground. Carry me my pass and go. I want to be alive. Nigerians, we know the value of life. That's why we're living. We don't die, we want to die. Don't ask why. Because we're, we run away from any appearance of danger. Any appearance of danger. Let me tell you why I don't enter the ocean here. Say, put, you, put my leg in the ocean, pa, never. Because the Ministry of Science and Technology in Nigeria, the real science, they call it Juju. <laughs> Why Nigerians don't swim? Don't do all those extreme sports. Bungee jumping. You tell a Nigerian, bungee jumping. Say, what if the rope cut? <laughs> we always think about that. Say, go to safari. Why would I be close to a lion? We it's okay. That's why we pay the SDD subscription. We reach your natural land. Say no, do you want to go snorkeling in Zanzibar? Which kind of snorkeling? What is shark call? <laughs> Say there are no shark. How you take no? Have we counted all the sharks in here? <laughs> Say come and climb Kilimanjaro. Why should I climb it when I can drink it?
I want to come to Tanzania, but I want to climb something else, not a mountain. 